Hello everyone. This is Candy Grand Prix. Um something had been bothering me for a long time. And I apologize for the guys talking out in the other room. Um so like You know how it feels <clears throat> when you um like on the verge of crying. And I I've, I've been like on the verge of crying for a while and um I'm like so hurt right now and I'm scared, I'm so scared. anything to happen to me or my twin sister and you know I've been trying to live for Jesus and you know still struggling and you know it's like many people are telling me that you know she's you know one of my handlers And, you know, I mean, been perping me. And, you know, I hear a lot of people gang stalked because they're brainwashed to do it, you know. And also quite a few people have told me that she's sold out and in that cult and stuff. And so, I mean, I'm not trying to just publicized personal family stuff, but this is related to the targeting and the gang stalking. <clears throat> so, ever since leaving the hotel, you know, well, no, because even when I was in the hotel and last week having to deal with, um, you know, I had to, had to deal with people, um, I had to deal with everywhere, almost everywhere I go, freaking everybody, you know, threatening to get me, you know, call the police on me, even yesterday, calling the police on me, or they've been gang stalking me even worse. I'm scared for myself because people have been t telling me, you know, that I'm supposed to, I'm being gang stalked and I'm targeted because I'm supposed to be like the blood sacrifice. That's why I'm the scapegoat and black sheep. But I'm just hurt and. <clears throat> because, you know, as y'all know, my twin sister, you know, wants me, you know, locked up in a mental institution. But at the same, and I'm not a danger. I'm not self-harming or anything like that. I'm not trying to take myself out or anything. But I'm really scared that, you know, um, I saw, I'm bothered. Because I don't want, I, I mean, I realize, I mean, I love her and I care about her and I, I um care her care about her way more than I you know than I realize you know and 
I had been trying to get through to her personally before I even found out about this gang stalking and targeting thing that I mean I like I even tried to get to the biological mom Francis that um I tried to apologize to her and you know that the foster mom brainwashed us to hate and uh, she, she put all this stuff in our head about the biological mom and the biological mom died before I can I mean I tried for over a like at, at least two years after finding out the like two and a half years after finding out the truth you know about the foster care excuse me the biological mom Francis had passed away at 65 years old and so I've been torn I have unwanted intrusive thoughts and I've been tormented by you know unwanted intrusive thoughts and fears you know um well, you know, the perps and stars for Team K and all the, you know, a lot of the other perps want me like the fundamental institution for speaking the truth about everything. But my twin sister just attacked and singled me out and had done a slew of videos full of lies about me. And she knows that they're lies, you know, but I haven't said anything false in my videos, you know, not knowingly. You know, but if I make a mistake and accidentally, you know, say something because of some misinformation, then I apologize. But, you know, she knows that she's been lying on me. But at the same time, you know, that cult, that cult and I mean, I tried to get the truth to my twin sister as well. Tried to make amends and try to, um, you know, I haven't spoke to her directly and, um, hold on. Well, I haven't spoke to her directly in, um, in, since the day before our birthday last year because of an argument over the cult. And, you know, some some other targeted individual said that, you know, we need to reconcile, you know, and I almost was, you know, succeeded at, you know, getting the truth to her when I was up there in 2017 by her and her lesbian lover threatened to leave her if she would believe, turn to the, believe the truth and believe in Jesus Christ. So when the girlfriend threatened her, that's when she decided no, you know. But that cult brainwashed us to hate Christians, hate Christianity, and um, hate hate the true Christians. <clears throat> Excuse me, pardon me. So it's like they brainwashed us to to hate the truth, you know, and they. That new age lies is just nothing but lies. And so, you know, I try to sit down with my twin sister on the phone and in person and try to talk to her about basically how the foster care system brainwash us to, I mean, it's not uncommon, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, that um, a lot of um, foster parents are sold out witches, warlocks, homosexuals, and you know, occultists, masons, whatever, you know, anything evil. No such thing as a good, loving Christian foster foster family that's like, treat your children a, as your own. It's like a lot of them do it for money and they'll lie in front like they love the foster child so much. No, you don't. You know, the, the, the love, the natural kind of love is not there. And, and narcissistic foster parents use foster children as um, narcissistic supply and money, of course. And, you know, to do their witchcraft rituals on. So, you know, I've been tormented and haunted by unwanted fears because my twin sister, you know, I saw that tweet with... And, where she threatened to um 
she said that when she said she attempted the S word because of my nut ass. You know, my I, she said I attempted the, the S word because of her nut ass. You know, and I wasn't trying to just bad mouth people to just be bad mouthing people. I'm not going crazy. This targeting program is real and I don't perp her. And I don't get incentives or pay for any arguments we get into, you know. So it's like I she almost turned her life to Jesus Christ. But that fake idea Mar cult has such a hold, a stronghold. I'm glad I was able to get out of it and find out the truth about not just that, but everything. Well, not everything, because I don't know everything. But, you know, I haven't been able to sleep and been scared, especially at night. Um, and she even, you know, said on, a, I mean, I haven't been looking at her channel anymore, you know, for the past few days, nor her, her Twitter, because I don't want to be hurt any further. And she, she, she mentioned comments on her YouTube channel that she didn't want to live anymore and stuff like that. And it's like... I'm feeling really scared because I don't want for her to, um, you know, I don't want for her to harm her, mutilate or destroy herself behind me or behind any, any of all this. Because the foster mom probably put both of us in a targeting program. And, you know, some people say that, you know, she caved in and was compliant. A lot, uh, quite a bit of people say that, you know. And and, that, and that's why I'm being targeted more heavily than her. You know, we both have been going through stuff. And some people say that what we went through as children was considered, you know, satanic ritual abuse and MK Ultra. I tried to get that truth to her. And she's, you know, figured that a person who researches that stuff is, you know, sick in the head. You know, very sick. And I didn't know or realize that she felt that strongly about that cult. And, you know, us being from New Orleans and voodoo, you know, I, I I mean, it's not good or normal, I know. And, and we both feel so bad that how other twins can get along and be close. And it's like me and my twin sister, like, I'm not even allowed to, you know, I didn't know that she loves animals so much. You know, so, um, it's like, I, I, I didn't want to keep arguing or fighting and I'm just really scared because I'm, I'm, I've been shaking and scared, just so scared. And, you, you know, I would like for her, you, you know, I mean, we haven't talked and I don't even know her current phone number, but it, it, it's like. I wish she, I, I, I mean, I wish that she would wake up and open her eyes to the truth. <clears throat> you know, I don't even know if she's afraid of, you know, further gang stalking or anything. Um, but I assure you, I'm not perping anybody. I don't perp nobody. I don't get any incentives. And I don't, I never got paid for to do evil. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's that serious and dangerous that, you know, foster care system just destroys families. They destroy families. And, you know, people say the foster mom pitted us two against each other for monetary gain. And the foster mom must have thought she was going to be my handler until the day I die. And that maybe I would have died before her, you know. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, um, I had talked about everybody, you know, about what's been going on in relations to the gang stalking stuff. And I'm just, uh, hold up. Huh? You can't, can't hang out too much in here, okay? Not too long. I mean, it's kind of hard to have, it upsets people when you have personal conversations in the bathroom and stuff like that. So, thank you. Yep, that was me. See that? I'll be back. She's a perp too. Oh, it upsets people because perps complaining. 
all the times I've come in here and um done videos or something. Wow, something that's the most personal, the most personal is the, the number one, the, the main thing, that it was something so personal that um, she interrupted me, she, she doesn't give a damn, that lady, you know, she never did that to me before, um, but it's a perp interruption at me speaking the truth, and um, I'm homeless with nowhere else to go. And um so how is my private bathroom conversation? It upsets people. You know, so y'all heard that. So um it's like my heart is very heavy right now. And um y you know, I'm just saying that I don't I don't want her to do anything to herself. I don't want her to do anything to herself. You know, um, it would be, like, very hard right now for me and her to talk to each other, though. Um, or for, you know, the idea of her, you know, she would be receptive and listen to me. You know, but she would try to, you know, challenge me and stuff, you know. So, um, I don't know. I, I feel upset that, that the lady did that to me, but... I mean, I'm feeling a little relief that I just finally talked about this. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I mean, that lady sees me quite often, you know, and I don't like all this noise outside, you know. Um, and, and these rich, proper white people, they don't give a fuck. They don't care. They don't care. You know, it's because I'm black and I'm doing this is why she said that. You know, they don't do that to their own kind, and it's the truth. I'm not talking about other white, but I'm talking about, you know. So, um, nobody was, unless that black girl complained about me. What the hell? You know, so, um, I was just trying to get some privacy. You know, even though this is going on YouTube, but in person, you know, I was just trying to get some privacy. You know, and the, the people, they talk very loud out in the, um, they talk very loud out in the, um, in the, op in the opening. And that lady, she's not even a manager. She's not, you know, she's not the, one of the managers. And she told me that, you know, so, um. You know, you know, I'm just saying I hope nothing happens to her or anything like that. But right now, I guess I'm still feeling it fragile and, you know, not ready yet to um, try to talk. You know, I still feel like I need to cool down. But Stars 15K kept falsely accusing me of threatening the S word, and I haven't. You know, she kept falsely accusing me and twisting my words. And remember, she wants me locked up in a mental institution so bad. And she linked up with my twin sister. And now they're doing, you know, doing all this stuff together towards me. So I'm going to go now. And before I go, when I got a little bit of good news, you know, I, um, you, you know, submitted the rejected book from the other website to um, Amazon. And it wouldn't let me post it for free, so I posted it for the cheapest price, two ninety nine, and I don't know if it's gonna get accepted. So thanks for listening and bye.